Hi, I'm Chef Scott Samuel from the Culinary Institute of America here at Greystone in Napa Valley. I'm going to be making a dessert today using black grapes. We're going to make a uh, black grape sorbet with a savory goat cheese mousse paired with a honey twill, which is a little cookie. And uh, this is a great simple dessert and the flavors and textures and temperatures all come together for a really nice dish. So the first thing I want to do is uh, make a grape sorbet. And I'm going to first talk about the ingredients that I have here. All the ingredients for the dish are right here. I have my black grapes. I'm going to make a simple syrup out of sugar and water, then I have some glucose and lemon juice. Those ingredients will be my sorbet. Uh, for the goat cheese mousse, I have some uh, local fresh goat cheese, powdered sugar, a little bit of honey, a little bit of fresh thyme, and some cream that I'm going to whip up and fold into my mousse. That will be the goat cheese mousse aspect of it. And my twill, which is a little cookie, is going to be soft butter, honey, powdered sugar and flour, and egg white. And after combining these together, we're going to bake them on a silpat or a silicone baking sheet. I'm taking uh, whole grapes, skin on, two quarts. I'm going to puree these until they're smooth and then I'm going to strain them twice and measure out the liquid. My first strain is kind of to basically extract the skins. And then the second strain is to make it very smooth so when I do spin it in a sorbet, machine that I am ultimately left with a very smooth, bright flavored grape sorbet. So after I strain this out, I'm going to measure it and I'm going to get a uh, measurement of about 24 ounces and that will be the liquid measure of our grape juice for creating this sorbet. So near the end, I'm going to be pushing, extract all the juice and I want some of the tannins from the skins to play a part in this uh, sorbet flavor. So it's sweet and tannic. And now I'm going through a chinois, a finer meshed sieve to extract the solids one more time. And kind of using a ladle to push to extract the liquid. All right, I'm done straining and I'm measuring out my grape juice for 24 ounces. All right, so there's that component. The other component will be a uh, simple syrup. So I'm using my two ounces of sugar, my two ounces of water. I'm going to bring this to a boil. And what I'm trying to do is create a measurement of uh, bricks, which is the sugar density in uh, liquid of 22 degrees. And that, I believe, is the perfect bricks for making a sorbet that will freeze solid but will also be smooth. And if you have a refractometer, you can test that for 22 degree bricks or our two ounces of water, two ounces of sugar, 24 ounces of grape juice, and four ounces of an inert sugar, glucose, will make this 22 bricks. All right, so I just want to cook this until the sugar is dissolved. I'll add that to my sorbet base. And then what I want to do is to incorporate my glucose evenly, I'll pour some of my grape juice out and scoop my warmed glucose into here whisk to dissolve and combine, and then return back to my sorbet base. So this liquid is now ready to chill, and then I'll spin in a sorbet maker, and I'll create my uh, nice black grape sorbet. So one of the other components to this dish is a goat cheese mousse. So the ingredients I have are about six ounces of goat cheese, powdered sugar, and I'm going to whisk this to combine. Sweeten it with a little honey. A teaspoon of honey. Add the savory aspect of minced fresh thyme. Pinch of salt. And now I'm going to take my whipped cream that I've uh, already whipped in a chilled bowl to soft peaks. And I want to fold the cream into my goat cheese mixture. So I usually do this a third at a time. I don't want to deflate the cream all the way, but it's going to slightly. All right, so this is my goat cheese mousse. I'm going to set this aside refrigerated, and this component to the sorbet dish is ready. So the third component to this uh, grape sorbet dessert is a honey twill, which is basically a thin little cookie that can be used uh, in many ways. I like to uh, form it into like a little wave. So very simple, we're going to take our softened butter, a 
one and three quarter ounce of warm honey, two ounces of all-purpose flour and two ounces of powdered sugar sifted. And I'm just gonna get this just combined with my whisk until I switch over to a rubber spatula to incorporate my egg whites. So that's what it should look like. I don't wanna beat this too much because I don't want too much uh, texture. And then adding my one ounce of egg white. And this is my honey toil batter that I can refrigerate until I'm ready to bake. All right, so we're just forming these toils with a little uh, stencil here. You could choose any shape you want. And we'll place this in a 325 degree oven for about eight minutes. Okay, so after these come out of the oven, working quick before they cool down, we're gonna take them and lift them and cool them on a rolling pin. Yeah, once they hit the rolling pin, they'll be cool in less than a minute and we'll be able to uh, assemble our sorbet dish. Okay, now that we have our components together, our sorbet is looking nice. It's had some uh, chance to freeze. Our twills are ready to go and our goat cheese mousse. So let's do a little assembly here. I'm gonna put a little there just to hold our twill, which are very delicate. I'm doing a little bit of a goat cheese mousse base. Garnished with a couple of uh, cut black grapes. So for this dessert, you could use any grape to make the sorbet. I chose the black grape for the color contrast because it plays nicely with the goat cheese mousse. And uh, ultimately, I'm looking for that big punch of color and uh, the black grape gave that to me. Black grape sorbet with goat cheese mousse and honey twill.